Hi students, welcome to another video. In this video, we will be touching on conversion of energy. What is energy? Energy is the ability to do work. Energy can cause things to move or change in state. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. We will be looking at six different types of energy. Firstly, light energy, followed by heat energy, sound energy, electrical energy, kinetic energy, and potential energy. Light energy is a form of energy that allows us to see. Objects can be seen if they give off light or if they reflect light. Here are some uses of light energy. Sunlight enables plants with chlorophyll to make food. Cameras use light to capture images. Traffic lights are used to guide traffic on roads through the use of differently colored lights. Here's an application of the conversion of light energy. The light energy of the sun is being converted to chemical potential energy of plants as plants use the sunlight to make food. Heat energy. It is the form of energy that makes things hot or warm. Here are some sources of heat and its uses. The sun produces heat to help us, which helps us to warm the surface of earth. Electrical appliances supply heat with the use of electrical energy, which can be used to boil water, cook food, and iron clothes. The burning of fuels also emit heat which is often used in industries to melt metals. Thirdly, sound energy. Sound energy is the form of energy that we can hear. It is produced by vibrating objects. Sound energy requires a medium to travel through. Hence, it can travel through solid, liquid, or gas. However, it cannot travel in outer space as it is vacuum, which means that there is no medium and there is generally nothingness. Here are some uses of sound. It is often used in playing music. It is also used by humans to communicate and talk to each other. It is lastly used also as Sirens for ambulances. Electrical energy. It is the form of energy that can be carried along wires. It is usually generated in power stations. Electrical energy supply can be used to produce light energy in light bulbs. Electrical energy can also be converted to heat energy of cattle which is converted to the heat energy of water and the sound energy of the kettle to indicate completed boiling. Electrical energy can also be converted to sound energy of the guitar. Kinetic energy. It is a form of energy that moving objects possess. The amount of kinetic energy depends on the mass of the moving object and the speed of the moving object. Note that the mass of the moving object is not in the syllabus. But basically, the object with more or higher mass has more kinetic energy. So a bus, which has a higher mass than the car, has more kinetic energy. For the speed of the moving object, the faster an object moves, the more kinetic energy it has. So a snail, which is relatively slow, has very low kinetic energy effect. 
Lastly, potential energy. Potential energy is known as the stored energy. It can be used and changed into other forms of energy. There are three types of potential energy. Firstly, chemical potential energy, followed by gravitational potential energy, and then elastic potential energy. Chemical potential energy is stored in any kind of food, battery, or fuel. Food includes vegetables and meat, while batteries include dry cells, and fuels include wood, oil, charcoal, or coal. This stored energy can be released as usable energy. So the chemical energy, chemical potential energy in the food can be released by respiration. The chemical and potential energy in the fuel can be released through burning. The chemical energy in the batteries can be used when it is in a closed electrical circuit, hence converting to electrical energy. Here are some conversions of chemical potential energy. For instance, how do you think a jogger gets his energy from the sandwich he ate? The chemical potential energy from the sandwich is being converted to kinetic energy and heat energy of the jogger. The next, gravity, the next potential energy we'll be looking at will be gravitational potential energy. Any object that is above the ground, hanging from something or on top of a slope has gravitational potential energy. For example, a plane taking off from ground has gravitational potential energy as it is at a height above the ground. The amount of gravitational potential energy depends on the mass of the object and the height of the object above ground. An object with more mass, like this ball here, which is bigger and has more mass, has higher gravitational potential energy than the smaller than the, than the smaller ball of smaller mass. The height of the object above the ground also affects the amount of gravitational potential, potential energy an object has. So the higher an object is from the ground, the higher the gravitational potential energy. So this ball here, which is at a higher height than this ball here, assuming that both of them have the same mass, right? this ball has higher gravitational potential energy than the ball at a lower height above the ground. So how do you think an hydroelectric dam converts, um, produces electrical energy used in power stations? So the dam is actually being built at a height so that the water possesses gravitational potential energy which is then converted to the kinetic energy of the water here, which is then converted to the kinetic energy of the turbine, which produces electrical energy. The last potential energy we'll be looking at will be elastic potential energy. Energy of an object. It is the energy of an object when it is stretched or compressed. So once the elastic object is being released, the elastic potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy. As, as you can see in this diagram, when it is released, it actually moves back to its original shape. And because it moves, it is a form of kinetic energy. So the object that is more stretched or compressed has more elastic potential energy. So, the elastic potential energy in this wound up toy, due to you being due to you winding up the toy, will actually be converted to kinetic energy of the toy, plus sound energy of the toy and heat energy of the toy. You may wonder how, why, how can the toy produce heat energy? It is due to the movement of the moving objects that produces friction, which produces heat energy. So here's a short quiz. So Oliver set up a circuit as shown below using a lemon, a nail, a pin, 
a light bulb and some wires. The bulb lights it up. So you have to state the energy conversion of what happened earlier. So the bulb has lighted up, which indicates that there's electric current um, through it and that there's electrical energy present. And because there is no battery that is supplying you know, the electric current to the bulb, so this means that the lemon is acting as an electrical source, and which means that it produces electrical energy. So how can the lemon produce electrical energy? So lemon is a food, so it um, has chemical potential energy. So the chemical potential of the energy, potential energy of the lemon is being converted to electrical energy of the wires. I mean that passes through the wires, which it, which then produces light and heat generated in the bulb because electric current flows through it. So for this question. Asin released a pendulum bulb from position A and its movement is shown in the diagram below. So it moves like that. So at which position does the pendulum bulb have the greatest amount of kinetic energy? So at A, it actually has gravitational potential energy because it, it is at a height above the ground. So as it moves to a height lower, lower from the ground, lower to the ground, uh, closer to the ground, um, it has lower gravitational potential energy. So where did this like loss of gravitational potential energy go to? So basically it was converted to kinetic energy where the ball here has um, higher kinetic energy. So, when, so basically when it moves back to C uh, and C having being at a higher height above the ground than B, the sum of the kinetic energy is being converted to gravitational potential energy. So C has lower kinetic energy than B, and A also has lower kinetic energy than B. So B has the highest amount of kinetic energy. So the answer here is actually B. So the next question, after a while, the pendulum bulb was observed to swing to position C at a height lower than its height released at position A. Give a reason for this. So this ball here is at a lower height than A. So why is that so? Because the kinetic energy at B should be converted to gravitational potential energy, right? But how come like there's less gravitational potential energy that it is being converted to? So in reality, right, heat and sound energy um are being produced through this process which thus lead to less kinetic energy being converted to gravitational potential energy and thus um, for C to have lower gravitational potential energy than A, right, which thus leads to it being at a lower height. So if you want to write in the exam, this is how you phrase it. So this is because some kinetic energy is lost to heat and sound energy. So less kinetic energy is converted to gravitational potential energy, causing the bulb to reach a lower height. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching this video, which is brought to you by Project Love of Learning, with many thanks to Gabriel Lee, Koyang, and Biao Yin Care Center for this opportunity and the guidance that they provided. See you in our next video.